Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video I share my morning routine. So once I wake up I turn on my bedside light and then get out my pen and paper and write about half a page. When I'm finished I put the date on the top, fold it up and put it away in an envelope to reflect back on later. I've been doing this for about a month now and it's really helping me feel more creative. And then I get out the book that I'm reading, and at the moment I'm reading a book about four women in World War II Paris. I like to read between five pages and a chapter of that. Then I turn on the main light and make the bed. This involves straightening the cushions and the duvet. Then I get dressed, laid out all my clothes on the bed. Once I'm dressed, I fold up my pyjamas and put them away neatly in the drawer. Then I have a drink of water to rehydrate. And put some rose water on my face. Then I brush my hair and put it up in its usual half up half down style. Then I get into my stretches so I stretch my arms, my wrists, my torso, my shoulders. And then I do a spot of yoga so downward dog, lunge, warrior pose I believe and then it's time to put on my shoes to go for a run around the block. I find this quite invigorating and, and it's nice to get some fresh air in the morning. So I've just got back from my run a little bit out of breath and I get into making my breakfast. By this point it's 20 past 7. So I get out my whole grain oats, a banana to put on the top, and then some lime to make a hot drink, and plant milk. At the moment I'm using one called oat milk, it's nice and creamy. And I put my strawberries in a bowl, I just add the frozen black currants. Sometimes I do like to cook them with the oats in the pot, but on this day I just decided to thaw them out and then add the hot oats later. So I put the oats in a pot and add some water. A good rule of thumb when cooking whole grain oats is to use twice as much water as you use oats. And then I get my hot drink ready. So I have my typical um, hot cacao and ginger powder. I get this ginger powder from either Greg's, which comes in a cardboard container, or the Sauce Bulk Foods, which is in Christchurch and a great way to get your bulk foods without any packaging. Then I check on my porridge and it's boiling, so I turn it down. And then I add my hot water to the drinks. And I make sure that the hot cacao is completely stirred in so that there aren't any lumps. Then I add my milk. And by this time it's starting to get a bit lighter outside. You can see the windows are quite cold. And then I add some ground linseed to my oats and berries to get in some omega-3 fatty acids. And I peel a banana and slice that up on top. Then it's time to sit down at the table and enjoy my breakfast.
Next up, time to get Flora out of bed. She's the little dog that I've been looking after. She's a West Highland Terrier and she sleeps in the bathroom so that I don't hear her when she wakes up in the night. She's always very excited to get up, as you can see. Flora likes to play in the mornings. Here you can see she's playing around with a biscuit that she got out of her bowl. I love to play with Flora too, she's good company. Here I'm trying to get Flora's attention, but she's a bit distracted by her breakfast at this point. While Flora's eating, I go and clean my teeth using my bamboo toothbrush and some fluoride-free toothpaste. And I also floss my teeth at least once every couple of days if I can, as a dentist recommends. I use compostable dental floss and it comes in a refillable container made of glass, which you can actually get at the source bulk foods last time I checked. Then I grab the lead and get Flora ready to go for her walk. She's very enthusiastic about walks. She does like to linger a little bit longer than I do on the way to the beach and we decided to explore the playground a little bit. It's a really cool playground with dinosaur swings, dinosaur slides and a whale which Flora explored. Walked past the Surf Life Saving building and we made our way down to the beach. This is the St Kilda end of the beach and Flora absolutely loves sn sniffing around the tussocks. Running around on the sand, digging holes, sniffing seaweed. Sometimes she likes to go for a swim. She also loves playing with other dogs. I don't think we saw any on this day. And then we had a look at the golf course from the hill on the way home. Flora's pretty keen to go down there and explore, but we didn't. Then I got home and put some washing on, and as it was a grey day, I put a little bit in the dryer. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you found this video enjoyable and interesting. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Kakite.